a multi-touch technology that we've developed uh, called Second Light. Now, what Second Light allows you to do, what we're seeing here is a projection screen, um, and we've got a um, projector underneath that's projecting onto this surface. And there's also an infrared camera underneath that can sense uh, as I'm interacting on the surface here. And we can do all the, all the cool things that you've seen in, in systems like Surface where we can um, zoom into objects, for example, or rotate objects. Now, one of the things that we're exploring with Second Light is a mechanism for actually projecting through the displaced uh, surface. So that's actually quite a difficult thing to do. Normally when you place, this is actually just a regular piece of um, uh, tracing paper. If we place a piece of tracing paper above the surface, we don't see any information. So in this image here, we have a, an image of the night sky, but wouldn't it be cool, as I put this piece of tracing paper above the surface, uh, if we can see the stars or even the constellation. So here I'm actually going to enable that, that part of the technology. And we see here, up at the top, we see Orion. Let me zoom in a little bit. And we see the rest of the constellation down here. Now notice that we're not actually seeing an image on the surface itself. It's actually just appearing on this um, tracing paper as I'm holding it above the surface. And we can zoom out and actually get a full overview of the constellation. Likewise, this is, a, this is a map of our hometown in Cambridge in the UK. And if I want to really, uh, reveal the street names, <laughs> or even go up close to where I live. Should we look at the street names? One final example, just to really demonstrate some of the capabilities of Second Light. Here we have a cow. Can anyone guess what's going to happen when we place this over the cow? No, we're not going to reveal the, the innards of the cow. We're just going to reveal some text about the cow. But this really demonstrates that we can, that we can project a completely independent image onto, onto this secondary surface up above, which is completely different to the one that's, that's below. And it is just a regular piece of tracing paper here that we're, that we're placing on the surface. And we can use any sort of cheap, plastic, diffuse uh, surface to, to kind of reveal this hidden information. And uh, this is actually a favorite of Steve, so I should really show this one as well. This is a scroll. Again, an everyday object that you can just pull out and we can reveal the, uh, the text about the cow. Okay, so um, let's just uh, take a moment to uh, understand a little bit more what's going on there. This is a picture of our second light prototype. Inside the unit we have a projection system, as Sharan mentioned, the shining light on the underside of the display surface. And it's really that display surface um, where we're adding the innovation. We use a special liquid crystal material for the display. And in its natural state, this liquid crystal material is sort of frosted or milky or diffuse in appearance. I've got a picture here of some of that material, uh, very similar material set up in our lab in Cambridge. So if I project an image onto the underside of that material, you get to see the image, it's rendered very clearly on the material. But if I apply a voltage to that material, I can turn it and make it transparent. So I can see right through it. And if I project an image from, the, from below when it's transparent, it's just like a sheet of glass, the image passes straight through. It's invisible to the user. So what we do in second light is we're actually switching the display between these two states all the time. And in fact, if we switch it quick enough, as you can see, we can make it so that you don't even see the switching. And that's what we're doing. This, this display is continually switching between those two states. And we synchronize this switching with the projection system and actually project two different images. Whenever the display is diffuse, we're projecting the first image. And that's the image that you see when you walk up and start using the unit. Whenever the display is in its transparent state, we're projecting a second image, a different image. And that image passes straight through. You don't see it. Unless, that is, you put a second diffuser above the surface. Like a piece of tracing paper or a cheap bit of plastic uh, with a diffuse finish. And that's how we reveal that extra information. So, Jerome mentioned uh, 
Now, inside our unit, we also have an infrared camera. That's how we do the touch detection. That's how we do multi-touch. Uh, but the infrared camera can actually be synchronized with the switching of the diffuser. So we're not only detecting, say, fingertips in contact with the display, but we can also look through the display when it's in its transparent state. And then we can get images of the area above the display. So we can see hands, arms, we can see users' faces. In fact, we can see anything that either reflects infrared light or emits infrared light. And so, uh, the second demonstration we want to show you um, leverages that capability. Thanks, Steve. Okay, so, switch to the screen. Okay, so, here we have a magic lens. Um, it's similar to the ones before, it's slightly bigger, um, and it just has some batteries that are powering some infrared LEDs, and that's used for tracking this, this surface. So, what we can do using that infrared camera that can see through the surface, we can actually make this man follow this surface as we're moving it around. Or we can actually make the man start running. We can pick the man up. And again, he will follow us as we're moving this surface around. Now you'll see there's actually a, an image of the man down below. And what we're actually doing as I'm tilting this man over is actually pre-distorting the image that's coming through the surface. And you can actually see it on the primary surface down here. And what, what that pre-distortion does is ensures that it's corrected even when I'm tilting this surface towards myself. So I'm holding this, this surface almost vertically at the moment. If I switch to video, you can actually see this, this, this in better detail. So here we see uh, Ray's opening keynote from uh, a couple of days ago. And again, we have this secondary surface that we can use in conjunction with the primary surface. So down here, we still have an image that we can display on, this, on, the, on the main surface. And up here, we have a tracked image um, that can be always corrected as we're tilting this secondary surface. So imagine being able to you know, pick up windows off your surface computer and actually use um, this secondary surface to actually view them. Um, here, I'm just going to tilt this a little bit just to give you a sense of the pre-distortion that's happening down there. And you can see that we can go, uh, you know, this is pretty much vertical, this display surface. Now, one final aspect that I'd like to demonstrate is, um, again, using the camera, the infrared camera below, what we can do is actually touch enable this secondary surface up here. So, as I'm touching this surface, we get a bubble that appears under my finger. So this is like almost a mini surface. And again, all the smarts is inside the second light unit, the projection and the camera that's doing the sensing. This is just a cheap um, secondary surface that we can create that also has multi-touch capabilities. Okay, so, so that's the, uh, the end of the demo. Uh, but just before we, uh, we move off stage, I just want to spend a moment reflecting on what it is you've seen here. So for the first time, what we've done here is integrated some new technologies into a surface computer. Um, so we can think about bringing the interface out of the display, interacting in the real world above the surface computing. You can imagine applications look at, such as looking at three-dimensional data um, and taking different slices through that data. You can think of gaming applications where we're using gestures and projecting into the space in front of the display to deliver compelling new user experience.